Over the last six months to a year, I have absolutely fallen in love with both of these jackets. I actually add them as my 2023 most worn pieces. Welcome to my channel. My name is James and I like clothes and well-made things. And today I wanna to talk to you about two jackets, my Flint and Tinder Hudson jacket and my Barber Bedale. I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of both pieces, what's the same, the advantages of one versus the other, and if I had to choose just one, which one I would choose the Barber Bedale. So the jacket that I have in particular is the Noah for Barber, Barber Bedale. Barber is an extremely cool company. They are a family owned company. They are now in their fifth generation and they were established in 1894. When you think of like British heritage, Barber is like right up there on the list with like Trickers, Edward Green. Most of the products are gonna be made in England, but they do however, do stuff outside of England and in different parts of the world as well. The jacket that I have is going to be a six ounce waxed canvas. And then it has like your signature tartan lining, which is just obviously super cool as well. If Barber is gonna be the old guy, Flint and Tinder is kind of like the new buck. Flint and Tinder was established in 2012, and then they were acquired by Huckberry, I believe in like 2016, 2018 range. This is a 10 ounce, I always screw up the name, I can never say it properly, the Millerinian Tech Wax Evolution 8, and it is 100% cotton as well. This jacket itself is gonna be made in Indonesia, in Indonesia as opposed to the United States or the UK, and and it is a flannel lining with some really beautiful kind of Shetland wool linings to it as well. The jacket itself in comparison to the barber is gonna be a little bit heavier and a little bit slimmer, but we'll talk about that on a different thing. Some of the similarities that you're gonna see within the Flint and Tinder Hudson jacket as well as the barber jacket are gonna be, obviously they're both wax cottons. They're both kind of hunting style jackets that are gonna have that more kind of heritage feel. They both have reverse zippers, which is like my favorite thing ever as a short guy. And then they're both gonna fit a little bit below the leg. And they're both just under $400. So the Barber Bedale is gonna be more of a classic fitting jacket. So when you think of a barber jacket, you think of something that's a little bit oversized, it's gonna fit, it's gonna drape, it's gonna be boxier fit, and it is gonna be a lighter material. So this is gonna be a six ounce material as opposed to the 10 ounce material. You're going to feel like this is more of a layering piece. It's not gonna be as flattering to the body. Inside of the collar, you're going to have that corduroy, which is nice if you're kind of cozy up against that. There's just a lot more space inside of the jacket. It's it's definitely more of a layering piece than you would see with the Hudson jacket. Flint and Tinder kind of took all the best things that you can find from like hunting style jackets and barber jackets and things like that and kind of put their spin on it. And it definitely gives it more of a menswear feel. It is going to be a lot slimmer. I would feel more comfortable wearing this in like more of a menswear setting with like chinos or jeans or something like that. And then the barber is obviously a very much a menswear piece as well, but it's baggier. It's, it's more kind of casual feeling. Feels more like denim where the barber jacket feels more like a canvas or like um, like a like a fabric feel. It is gonna have a much shorter collar. It's where the barber jacket kind of goes up to the ears. This one's gonna go like right below my neck. And then it's gonna feel much more slim. So now let's talk about the advantages of the jacket. So advantages to the barber are going to be a huge amount of heritage. So you're going to feel the jacket is gonna have obviously five generations of heritage behind it. It is a extremely well-known brand. You're gonna be part of like kind of a community in that sense. It also has a metal zipper. It feels a little bit more robust. When it comes to repairing, you can actually send the jacket out to barber and they'll patch it and do all that kind of stuff, which is quite cool because over you know, 20, 30 years, you can kind of have like a really unique kind of looking jacket. The jacket itself is an amazing layering piece. So it gives you a much more layering feel where you can wear multiple jackets underneath it. I tend to wear a blazer underneath it. I feel like you can wear it for more seasons because you can layer underneath it. And then it's gonna have the chest pockets. My, that's probably by far my favorite thing about the jacket is you're going to have like your regular patch pockets like you would on both 
both of them, but this one you're gonna have chest pockets. To me, is a, is a big advantage to that because you can leave stuff in your jacket and then you can just stuff those things and it's gonna work perfect like that. Now let's get into the advantages of the Flint and Tinder jacket, much slimmer. And when I say slim, I don't necessarily mean that it's gonna be skinny. Like it's a jacket, I am not a thin guy. I am 5'8", about 180, 75 pounds. I can still put like all my camera equipment in there, dog treats for Lola, balls, toys, and everything like that. And it has no issues whatsoever. Where the barber jacket is going to be closer to like a six ounce, this is a 10 ounce, and it feels more rugged. I just love kind of that crunchiness, especially on a jacket that I want to age and get better. Another advantage that I love is the jacket itself may not have the pockets like this, but it has a really beautiful drop pocket that you can just run on your right hip. It just drops everything in. It's very easily there. The shorter collar is nice because it's not as like cumbersome if you are just wearing it with a pop collar where the barber jacket is so much higher. It like covers half of your head, which is better technically, but maybe not so much men's wary. And then the two biggest things that I think are the most important is the cuffs. So the barber jacket has like this lining inside of the jacket where you clip in and then the regular jacket is over it. And I think that again, that's probably more of an advantage if you're hiking or hunting or something along those lines. However, I don't use it for that. And it just sometimes is just a little bit annoying where the barber jacket has two buttons on the outside where I can tighten or loosen depending on how I need. And I find that really nice because I can tighten it really thing and then I don't have to worry about the arms going past my hands or like down my hands which is a super frustrating thing for me on a personal level and then the back pocket the barber itself has these like clips on the back where you can loosen them but they're like gusseted so it doesn't have a pocket in the back it's designed so I think if you were to wear like big pants or if you were to kind of have like a belt on or something like that you can pull that over which I think is an advantage if you need that however I prefer the back pocket of of the Hudson jacket because I will throw my gloves in there. I can throw just stuff in the back and you know use it that way. Uh, I know that wasn't the intended purpose of the jacket. However, I just feel like it's better for me when it comes to that kind of concept. If I had to choose just one, and that is a really difficult answer because I love both of them so much, and they both have unique use cases. If you guys have been following my channel, or if you're not, I have my 2023 goals and grails right up here, and my goal was to find pieces that didn't collide and just use them for the use case. So when it comes to wax jackets, I don't necessarily need two of them. And if I'm wearing one, which one will I wear over that? And, and so that is a big thing that I have to think about and I've thought about. But if I were to buy just one, I would probably go with the Hudson jacket. And the reason why I say that is traditionally for me, waxed jackets are going to be much more menswear focused. I, if I'm going to be more like high fashion or more street wear in that kind of sense, I think I would want to wear something a little bit more avant-garde or a little bit more unique. If I'm going to be wearing a wax jacket, I'll probably wear it more so in a menswear setting. I love the slimness of it. I love how the collar works on that. I love the buttons on it. And then the barber jacket would be something that I would probably go with like a different alternative, maybe a crop feel. I love the Barracuda one. I really love the CP Company one. And I'd probably go with a different version of that because it's so unique to it. Or I would just not use a barber jacket and when I'm feeling more street wary, I would just wear a different jacket like my Our Legacy jacket or something along those lines. I know I rambled a little bit. Thank you for coming everyone. Both jackets are amazing. If you have either of them, you're in really, really great shape. But thank you for coming. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Goodbye.